morning, Mr. Peter. Uh, here we are to explain you uh, everything related to the usage of the tooling that we have made specially for you according to your requirements. In this case, we have you have requested three different thicknesses, which is three, four, and five for uh, diameter 30 and thicknesses four and five for diameter 40. Okay, here we have the two washers for the uh, assembling the tooling. In this case, you will see that this is slightly conical. This will allow you to get the flat bar easier, easierly, okay? On the other hand, the other way of the washer is straight, which you have to take into account and do it by the part that is slightly conical so that you can get a better uh, take off of the flat bar. Now we're going to uh, get the slightly conical side, place the thickness of five millimeters and get the slightly conical side on top of it again, fastening it with the bolt. Correct, that's ready. We are going to do the same operation with all thicknesses according to what we are going to use. Always the, con the slightly conical side touching the thickness we have selected. Correct, that's ready. Now we're going to reduce the pressure to its minimum level. This we are going to do it always and whenever we use delicate tooling so that we can prevent from any possible damage. Now we place the tooling on the position ready for working. Now we start up the machine pressing the blue button, which is the rearm, and once it's ready, we press the on button. Press on the manual mode. Okay. Now in manual mode, we are going to uh, move the machine forward until we insert the tooling into its working position. Once the tooling is ready, we fix it with an Allen key we make sure it moves smoothly. That's it. Now we take the washers that we had previously prepared and insert it in the tooling. In this case, we are going to work with thickness number five. We put the bolt in and we fix it with an Allen key and the tooling is ready to work. Now we're going to show you this mechanism with a spring in here which allows the bar to move and to accompany the bar in order to get properly shaped. Now in manual mode we are going to regulate the displacement of the piston until we get the desired position. Once we obtain the 90 degrees, we fix the displacement of the piston. Change to automatic mode. Now we remove the flat bar and we regulate the back rear, the rear uh, displacement of the piston. In order to make any different section of the bending, you can use the stopper that comes along with the machine. It is a tooling delivered standard 
and which you may use to fix the distance at which you can make the different bending. Once you find the way to do it, it will become easier to make every operation. Once you want to change the radius and the thickness, the only thing you have to do is exchange the washers and use the thickness for which you want to make any different radius. It is the same mechanism we explained before. Remember that you have to use the slightly conical side inside, touching the thickness, Fix it with the bolt, fasten it, and then it will be prepared to be used. Next step is regulate the rear and the front limit of the piston according to the bending you need to do. We are showing you the different thicknesses of the different tests that we have been making with your tooling. It's like a sample of uh, obtaining a good tooling and making different tests according to your requirements. This is your machine and this is what you're going to receive. Remember that when you receive the machine, you don't have to use it on top of this wooden pallet. You have to remove it and work with the machine on a flat surface on the floor. This is ready to work this is the um, element that you will be receiving from us and we hope that you like it. This is your box, your parcels ready to leave and we hope that when you receive it, just let us know and uh, use, make best use of it. And thank you for trusting us. <laughs>